Hello, welcome to our project presentation about the Oakleaf Trail reconstruction at Greenfield Park. This project is being implemented by the Milwaukee County Department of Administrative Services and Milwaukee County Parks. The project team for the Oakleaf Trail reconstruction in Greenfield includes Michael Marlin, landscape architect for Milwaukee County Parks, and David Golgowski, civil engineer with Milwaukee County Architecture, Engineering and Environmental Services. In addition to parks and Milwaukee County's architecture and engineering services, additional pro project partners also include the Wisconsin Department of Transportation or WSDOT, the Federal Highway Administration and Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. I'm going to hand it over to Dave to describe where this project is located. Very good. Thanks, Lizzie. So this project starts in Greenfield Park. Greenfield Park is located actually um, on the western edge of Milwaukee County. The, uh, the, the, the starting point for the, for, the, for the trail that's under construction will be at the Root River Line on the, on, on the east side of the project location map. Um, and then we're going to be going uh, westbound to to 124th Street, as, as Lindsay's showing there, and then that's going to cross over a bridge, and that eventually will connect up into the uh, into the New Berlin Recreational Trail uh, the, on the west side of the of the bridge there. So uh, so next slide then. So so why is the trail being reconstructed? Well. This is a one. This is a 1,200 foot segment of Oak Leaf Trail that is in really poor condition and needs to be reconstructed. It's uh, it's approximately six and a half feet wide to eight feet wide, and it is severely cracked. Anybody that's ridden this trail in the past has seen that it's got a lot of uneven surfaces, substantial cracking, and is uh, difficult to ride on. And the fact that it's more narrow, especially when you have two bikers passing by each other. Can be uh, can be difficult and unsafe. So so what we're planning to do is we're going to reconstruct this trail so that it is 10 feet wide, and this is going to be uh, in accordance with the Wisconsin Bicycle Facility Design Handbook. So that's what this uh, this we, this is a new standard that that all Milwaukee County trails are built to, and so we're going to be reconstructing this trail uh, to meet those requirements. Next slide, please. So I'm going to start at the uh, at the upper left hand corner there. This is showing the, uh, the the starting point at the at the Root River line. Again, this is in, uh, in Greenfield Park there, and our and our view is to the is to the west there. And then uh, as you as you go in a clockwise direction, we're showing how the how the trail meets together at at the at the east end there. And you can kind of see the, the connection point there um, as, they, as they come together. And then we're going to be uh, traveling westbound, which is showing on the, uh, the next picture to the clockwise on the right, as we show the uh, 124th Street Bridge, which is uh, the, the, where this trail ends. And then as you can go clockwise, uh, the view is actually standing on the bridge right over 124th Street, and then you are, are, are facing uh, east again in that direction. So that is that, and, and that is, so that is the match point uh, for, uh, for the construction of this segment. Next slide, please. So, uh, so the new design that we're doing uh, Meets, uh, meets all ADA requirements uh, with the slope. Uh, we're trying to match, kind of match similar to what's out there now. But again, we're making a 10 foot wide path and also really concentrating on the on the slopes of, of, the, of the trail to make sure that it meets all the requirements. It also meets the requirements of the Wisconsin Bicycle Facility Design Handbook in that it's a 10 foot wide asphalt path. The, Safety features that, that have also been included is as the, uh, the way it's currently uh, constructed is the two pads really come together at an angle and really makes uh, your your visibility of, of the of the trail users difficult. So what the new design has done is it's formed in one trail 
into more of a 90 degree turn that adds with visibility so that when somebody is coming up the, from the Root River line and you're matching into that Oak Leaf Trail spur there, you're going to come at it more at a 90 degree angle, giving you more visibility of, of bikers that are traveling in the east and west direction. Next slide, please. So the project budget and timeline, the, the total project budget is 96,000, just over $96,000. This is being funded by 80% through the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Um, and it's, we're using a grant, and it's the Transportation Alternatives Program, CAP grant. And then 20% of that um, is being matched by Milwaukee County. So we are currently in the design phase of this project. And that is really the purpose of having this public information meeting, trying to get your comments and feedback while we're, while we're actively designing the project. Once we receive those comments, we're going to go into final design and engineering. That's going to occur right around June of, of 2021. And then we, after that, we are going to um, start advertising it for bids. And we're going to have a contractor bidding on the project. We will select the contractor and then uh, extend him a contract. And then the construction, then we're planning is to start in mid September and we should be completed. Um, towards the end of October. And, um, and then after that, I'm going to actually, I'm going to pass this off to, to Mike Marlin, who's going to talk about the detour route. All right, thanks, Dave. Uh, so park users should expect uh, trail closure and detour starting again late summer of this year and lasting through fall. Um, trail users should expect uh, the detour to um, for the New Berlin Recreational Trail to uh, exit onto 124th Street. And then the trail user would continue south on 124th and enter Greenfield Park on Park Drive. At this point, the trail user can decide to head north on the Root River line of the Oak Leaf Trail. Or continue east on Park Drive and connect up with the Root River line of the Oak Leaf Trail heading south here. <clears throat> the trail user can also continue on to Park Drive to 116th Street heading north, which would put them back on the West Dallas Connector Trail to continue heading east. So just to reiterate this uh, park trail detour should last about six weeks, starting in late summer and lasting through fall. Public comment is open for this project until Friday, April 9th, and that will close at 5 p.m. We will provide the direct link to the comment form along with links to the PDFs of the slides which we showed today. Those will all be available online in the comments and you will also be able to find them on the Milwaukee County Parks website. Just a friendly reminder, if you have not downloaded the Milwaukee County Parks Explorer app, please consider downloading that today. On the app, you can find um, fun, interactive links to park amenities. You can use a very cool time-lapse feature where you can actually see historic photos of various parks. You can look at trail maps for places like the Oak Leaf Trail, and you can also track your park visits. Um, be sure to download the app today and uh, we would love to hear your public comments about this project as well. Thank you. Have a good day.